Welcome back to We The People University. My name is Abaye Israel, former police officer, former sheriff deputy. Open up! Police! I just want to say really quickly thank you for all of the great reviews you guys have been given for the online video course titled Surviving the Police. This course was made with simplicity in mind. You don't have to be a lawyer, a police officer, or a judge to understand the law. Learn your rights. It's an online video course full of online video lessons, real life video examples, quizzes, and get this, you don't even have to take notes. I took them for you. It even comes with a pocket guide with the constitution, case law, and all the do's and don'ts when dealing with the police. Make sure you register today and don't be caught lacking. The link is in the description section below. Today we're going to be taking a look at a police department out in Texas. Forgive me, I don't know what department this is exactly, but I do know it's in Texas. But the point of this video is this. This is a slightly older video, but the reason I'm using it because sometimes it's great for the audience to see what it's like to actually know your rights. This is a great example on how to dismiss the police when you know your rights. Two cops stop and harass a homeowner. They stated they saw a private property sign. The homeowner, who is a black male, feels he's been racially profiled. And because the cops saw a private property sign, they automatically assumed that he wasn't the owner and he should not be there. Let's take a look at this video and watch what it looks like to know your rights. Do you, now, do you have a search warrant to be on my property? Okay. I do not, okay? Okay, so... But, listen to me. Alright, if you can just provide this information for me, your IDs, if you live here... I'm not, I'm not providing you nothing, man. Matter of fact, get off my property right now if you don't have a search warrant. Sir, I'm... I have... I'm asking you nice. And I was asking you nicely as well. Hey, sir, all I'm saying, if you don't have a search warrant, paperwork to be on my property, what crime do you suspect... And, okay, su the suspect only me crime of that I have right now is y'all... Failure to identify. Okay, okay. 38.02. Failure to identify. One must already be under arrest for a crime that he has committed. What crime have I committed? Failure to identify. No, that's not a crime. Walking that only becomes house. a crime once one has already lawfully. Oh, yeah. Be quiet. Be quiet. Let me educate this, this, this one. You hear me? Let me educate him. 38.02. Failure to identify. Only becomes a crime when one has already been lawfully arrested for a crime, let me give you an example, sir, since I don't know who you is. What about detained? Huh? And what about detained? I, what am I being detained for? You were detained because you were suspicious activity. No, no. What, what penal code? You got to name a penal code that I've committed. That is the crime. Name a crime that I committed. You hear me? Name a crime that I committed other than being black and walking down this driveway. You were detained. Hey, it's shoemaker. Sh sh shoemaker. Don't don't do that, brother. Don't do that. Hey, hey, listen, listen. Why do listen. you think he's here? Because I'm black and he wants to uh, uh, you guys got it out for me, wanted to see what was going on. That's what I think. I've, I've done nothing wrong, shoemaker. You know what I'm saying? I've never mean you never had no words or nothing. I see you pass by, nothing, nothing. But what you're doing right now is you're up hold up you're up holding something unlawful and illegal. If you don't know your job, do not continue to because this you're going to be on the next video and now we can clearly look at this cop and tell he is unsure he had no clue this citizen knew the law the way that he knew it and now he's unsure he's puzzled he's second guessing himself but yet he still tries to pursue the matter anyway let's check this out and what i'm telling you is 38.02 baby come here can i yeah. can i can i google and show you guys Go ahead, google. okay i'm gonna show you guys because you're dealing with the wrong one that's why you guys mad at me because you won't be able to handle me like you handle the other ones Cause I'm on top of my game. I know you see the gold teeth and tattoos and immediately think I'm another, another plain, normal, regular black guy. No, player, wrong one. But let me educate you guys today. You hear me? Y'all time of running things, it, it, it has came to a closure, bro. Let me show you. 38.02. Okay, Texas Penal Code, 38.02. Let me read it to you so you can be educated. Uh, do you want to purchase data? No, I do not. Not now. Texas Penal Code failed to identify. A person commits an offense if he intentionally refused to give his name, residence, address, or date of birth to a peace officer who has lawfully arrested the person. I am not under arrest. Correct. You have You're to... Detained. You ha For what? Continue reading. No, no, listen, Continue listen, reading. listen. Let me explain to you. Let me explain to you. Yeah. I have the books in the house. I'll go and get you. Continue the, the, reading. Okay, okay. 
lawful arrest for a person who has requested that information. A person commit an offense if he intentionally give false or fictitious name or resident address, none of those which I am going to do. You hear me? If one, one, Once you show me that you have a legitimate reason to believe that I have committed a crime or I'm in the act of committing a crime, you know, you got a name of penal code? What penal code do you suspect me of breaking in order for... No, for real though. I just, I just, I just continue reading. Now, if you're wondering why Officer Shoemaker is telling the citizen to keep reading, because in there it states that if you're lawfully detained. But what Shoemaker is not realizing is this. This is not a lawful detainment. He is in his own yard. And you simply decide to jump out of your vehicle and say, hey, I need your ID. That is not according to the law. You're going to read part of it. Read the whole thing. I, I read it. I read, read the it. rest of it. There's there's more. There's Sir, more. sir, I'm, I'm explaining, it's not, and apparently you don't read, because you don't even know about it. There's Why more. was I able to even recite 38.02 fade to identify if I hadn't done my homework on it? Let me explain to you. This lady go to HEB, and she steals something. She get caught stealing. And then they call you guys there, and then you come to the scene. You hear me? This person has already been in trouble for stealing. You hear me? And then y'all pull the meat out of their pot pockets, and you grab the meat out of them. We know for sure they is stealing. That's the penal code they have broke. Now you ask them for their ID, and they don't give it to you then. Then, then only then can they be charged with failure to identify. They must already be lawfully yes. arrested for a crime that they committed. What crime have, have I committed? committed? Or you be in my yard and to be f***ing with me. You hear me? Suspicious. Okay. Here. I have okay. Suspicion. Well, you know what? You know what? I said. The... What's your name and date of birth? I'm under arrest. Am I under arrest? You're not under arrest. Okay, well, well, am I free to leave? You're detained right now. Detained is, is, is another arrest, sir. Okay. Detainment is another arrest. And what have you done to be And arrested? I have the dictionary, the law dictionary, that I'm going to use in the courtroom to state my case once I have to go to court. Because other than that, if I'm being detained, that means I am not free to leave. If I'm not free to leave, that means I'm under arrest. Mm -hmm. If I'm under arrest, I like to exercise my Fifth Amendment. Are you, are the right you behind, to remain. Are you behind me? Up, I'm but not free to leave. Exactly. I just want to know. I don't have to answer none of your questions. I don't answer questions. See, that's the difference between someone who know and someone who don't know. We can play this game all day unless you want to just kidnap me right now. You hear me? Because that's going to be the charges file. Because I'm yeah, under arrest. Nothing. I haven't breached the peace. I'm not being disturbed. I'm on my own property, which you don't have permission to be here right now. And it's posted. You hear me? And it's all being recorded. Okay. You hear me? What's your name and date of birth? I do not consent. I like to exercise my Fifth Amendment right. All right. You hear me? I'm, I'm just, I just want to exercise my right. Now, one can't go to jail for exercising right. You hear me? I just want to exercise my right, freedom of speech. I mean, uh, 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 right to remain silent. Yeah, right to remain silent. Yeah, how are you been, man? This, right. this officer told me I look suspicious, man. I look suspicious. Walking in my own, I'm just walking down the back, I'm walking down the driveway right here, down to the backyard, right? When the officer right here was passing by, this officer right here was passing by. And when he seen me, he turned around and came back. And I looked up, he already in my backyard. You know what I'm saying? I got signs, he immediately stated that he seen the no That's trespassing correct. sign. That's correct. He's, he's agreeing with me. He's seen the no trespassing sign and took it upon his business because he seen a black guy I guess it's such a nice looking house that we weren't supposed to be there you hear me you hear me so this Hispanic guy right here acting as the police officer you hear me but right now he's a pirate you know what I'm saying he's trespassing he's looking to try to take something from me you hear me I violated no law I haven't breached the peace I've done nothing wrong and he's here asking me for my information yeah, that's, all, that's all I need. And I don't have to give that to you if I've done nothing wrong, sir. For a suspicion that? Well, suspicious of what? Of being at this property. I saw the no trespassing sign, and I saw two people walking back here. That was it. That, that, don't, that don't give you no right, brother? That don't that give you no... Give me the right. No, it does not. No, it does not. And you're going to be excused. You're going to be... Ex uh, 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 you're going to be uh, uh, schooled. You're going to be taught okay. better. You hear me? Because okay. this is proof right here, Marlon, of what we're dealing with. This is proof what we're dealing with. We got people in charge of us who don't even know the laws themselves. But I quote them for them. You hear me? I quote them for them and let them read them. You hear me? Yes, look at them. Look at them. Straight tyranny. Yeah. 
Did you have a search warrant to come on my land, my property? All right. Sir, what's your name again? Uh, am I am I free or am I uh uh am, am I being detained? Well, I just want to know your name. Am I being detained or am I free to go? You're free to go. Well, I don't answer questions. Okay. You have a nice day. Yeah. And you, you see how you see? But I thought he was coming over here because I was suspicious though. You hear me? I thought it was suspicious. Now look at it. Now I don't want to give him a name. He just gonna leave. I thought I was doing something wrong. If I was doing something wrong, why are you leaving the way so quick? Huh? You're yes. Day, sir. Why why am I leaving the way so quick? What's your name again, sir? I'm Officer Ortiz. Officer Ortiz? Yes, sir. Yeah, this is, this is what we're dealing with, Marlon. You hear me? We got people like him who don't even know the law themselves. You hear me? But they ready to pull you over for something, and they don't even know what they sell. That's why you graduate from police academy in six months. But it takes two years to get your cosmetology license. I think you guys need to be in school for two years because you don't know your rights. You don't know your laws. And there you have it. This is what happens when you know your rights. A older video, but one that is well needed because it is very educational. Don't allow your rights to be violated. Learn your rights because as we saw in this video, police don't always know the law. Police are only in the academy for six months. And guess what? The Constitution, we weren't really taught that. I'm going to go over that in this video. Be sure to check it out on Monday at 2 o'clock. So make sure you know your rights, and I want to help you learn your rights. Down below is the link to my free ebook. Also, you can click on the link above my head. My ebook is going to help you be prepared when you encounter the police, so your outcome can be much like the outcome in this video. And if you haven't registered for my online video course titled Surviving the Police, make sure you do so. The link is in the description as well. With that being said, make sure you know your rights, and We the People University, signing off.